is one of the largest rural boarding schools in the Solomon Islands. And for close to 20 years now, the school has largely been powered by a diesel-generated mini-grid. Considering the cost of getting electricity to the school, if you consider the power generator consuming 16 grams per 14 days, you can easily calculate how much the school spends over 52 weeks. The 16 grams for only a fortnight. A large proportion of the school budget is consumed by the fuel cost for the generator that the school uses to get energy. Water has been uh, supplied to the school inconsistently too, because it depends on the power supply. Okay, so when the power goes up, water stops running through pipes too. The school also has a, an internet service, uh, which the students use to make research, to conduct their researches for their assignments. And sometimes, due to the inconsistent supply of power, it affects the access of students to the internet. The school has been operating uh, and getting energy from diesel power generator until today, right? Currently, if you will see the lights which are coming on now, is coming from the solar power system which has just been launched today. Access to around-the-clock electricity was a luxury, but all that has now changed. With the installation of a 160 kilowatt solar hybrid system by the Solomon Islands government in partnership with GIZ and funding from the European Union. Today I am indeed so honored to be here this morning for the commissioning and launching of the PV solar and diesel generator hybrid. Your collaboration has made this project called Adapting to Climate Change and Sustainable Energy possible on this side today. I am honored and very glad to be part of this uh, commissioning of this very important and based school-based solar diesel hybrid project. The implementation began in 2016. However, it is the first project of this time that the government uh, is uh, executing. It's been a, a three-year journey um, which has culminated in what we see today. Having 24-hour access to power is going to unlock new learning opportunities and really energize the school and help boost the future leaders that the school will output. Researchers, doctors, entrepreneurs coming through the halls of this school with the advantages that come through having access to energy. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Let there be light. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Melchior Mataki. I'm the Permanent Secretary for the Minister of Environment, uh, Climate Change, Disaster Management and Meteorology. Let me firstly say that we started off this project idea following a call for proposals from the EU through, uh, through GIZ. And when, when the call was made, um, my ministry, uh, together with the Minister of Mines and Energy, uh, looked at it and we decided then and there that I think it is good to, to have a focus on sustainable energy, but and also to have two things. One is do this uh, solar diesel hybrid here in Selwyn College, and the second one was to have a diploma course uh, offered at the Solomon Islands National University. We've, we've received actually a lot of uh, interest from both our national leaders as well as from school management. And on that note, I once again reiterate my uh, sincere gratitude and thanks to the European Union and GIZ for supporting the Solomon Islands government uh, to implement these two sub-projects. Good morning, my name is Lemuel. Uh, I'm the project engineer for this um, 
solar hybrid system. Primary source during daytime is the solar PV. The installed number is 576 PV panels, which is divided into six sub-arrays. The logic of operation is during daytime or good sunny days, we have the solar PV panel supplying power, and it's capable of supplying 160 kilowatts. In the evening, the next source is the battery storage system, which is capable of supplying 120 kilowatts. For the generator, it only comes on if the battery discharges to 60% and supplies the load to the school as well as charging the batteries. The provision of reliable electricity will enrich the boarding school and local community population of over 1,000 students and teachers. Okay, uh, before installing solar, before us in college, we've had a bit of a problem with the first generator. Especially in Sadlawata, the problem to us now. Use the same time generator off, water off too. So what happened? We don't have to go to the river. No problem to us. Eh? We go then to install the solar this time. Eh? And bar helpful to us now. Said the light, we have no problem now. And this time, by said the laundry river, washing the utilization, and bar a good now. Because of electricity, we are through solar. Because we said the class and lab, and bar organized because before solar system came, at the lab, on full on power, no matter how bad the inconvenience of our students, we still have to access them, we had to have this. And for long power now, but now that I'm 24 hours, I assume anytime for like go to lab or research or anything or find out more information about any subject, then very easy for me. And personally, as a me as a girl, time light and so off long night, as a me as a feel tired too, because as a be you willing for study, but dark around everywhere, so be you try to study and be him feel safe. Then ah light turn on, then you feel safe at school, then. But properties are also safe too. So I'm on 24 hours, so everything is very nice. Now. Islands and its people. 
We know it's an existential threat here. You know that you run the risk of disappearing because of climate change. So we have together to fight climate change to make sure that you have a future. This project is about renewable energy. It's about cutting on our green and gas now emission. It's about promoting a more sustainable way to provide energy for everyone. This is also about your future because this is a school. Here we're educating the next generation of leaders of the Solomon Islands. We're investing in your future. Here don't believe you learn maths or literature or grammar. You're learning how to be the leaders of your country. And we're very happy from the European Union to contribute to that task. Students, kids, realize your chance to be here, to have electricity, to be able to work, to learn. You do it for yourself, you do it for your country. You do it uh, for this part of the world, the Pacific. I think you have a very beautiful school. Very beautiful. I've seen the church. I think it is a cathedral. I've seen the hall. It's beautiful. I've not seen the, the rest of the dormitories, but I have no doubt that it is a beautiful school. And you are lucky to have a beautiful school. You have to thank your parents for that and make the best of these facilities so that you can do more and more and more and this is what we expect from you. So thank you very much. I am very happy to have made it for so far away. It is uh, a lesson to be here and uh, I wish you well for your studies and I wish you well for your life. So thank you very much. One, two, three, go! Thank you, thank you, thank you! This pilot project is the first such solar hybrid project installed by the Solomon Islands government and provides invaluable experience as they seek to expand electricity services to other rural colleges.